Yep. Welcome back to the studio. Uh, Charles Rourke is in the studio, as you can see. Uh, and we're going to be having this continued conversation about NCI and where they're going to be receiving funding from and whether or not the Harvest Foundation will remain firm in its January deadline. Now, Charles Rourke is much more familiar with this story. You've actually been talking to some of the players directly. What can you tell us as the update? Well, we got a call uh, last week. We got a call last week from Bill Stanley. And of course, he's a senator, and he's now the he heads up the board there at NCI. And of course, when he called us, he says we don't understand why we're going to why, why the Harvest Foundation is not going to make good with their twenty six million dollars of continued funding. Uh, and then, of course, I asked him to give us a comment. He said he would hold off on the comment until he until uh, he could hear some comment from the Harvest Foundation. Well, Friday we went uh, to seek answers, and we talked to Allison Rockroth. And let's take a look and listen to what she had to say. In the Martinsville and Henry County, somewhere between 8 and 11 percent of our graduates, um, of our youth, uh, have a baccalaureate degree. The state average is about 22 percent. So we're way below the state average. And we believe that there are many people here that, given the opportunity, would take the chance at a baccalaureate degree. In 2006, the Harvest Foundation challenged the Commonwealth of Virginia with $50 million to establish a baccalaureate degree granting institution uh, in the Martinsville and Henry County area to provide better opportunity for people of our region to get an education. Um, that was 10 years ago. Um, over the 10-year period, we have spent about $23.8 million of the challenge on the new college institute and making those opportunities possible for people of this region. Um, we're in the middle now of a leadership um, change and we are hopeful that this leadership change will lead to a new direction for new college. Um, new college it has been heading for about the last three or four years in sort of the work skills training certification mode and as a result of that uh, enrollment at the new college has plummeted. Um, so the remainder of the challenge, which is about $26 million, um, has been suspended now because of the enrollment and we're not sure of the um, forward focus of New College. As I said, we're hopeful about the new leadership with um, Senator Stanley taking the lead at the board um, as the chairman of the board and we're anxious to meet with him and a meeting is pending now in January for us to sit down and understand their future focus. Well, I think, you know, number one, the challenge grant didn't have a deadline on it. Um, certainly, uh, I don't think we uh, contemplated, you know, I, I've only been on the board for four years. Right. I uh, have just been elected chairman this, this month. Uh, I don't think anyone contemplated that the uh, $50 million or the challenge grant had a limitation on it. There certainly was no deadline that this had to be accomplished. Uh, you know, we've just built that building. Uh, it's not even two years old. Um, the shine hasn't even come off that building yet, and, you know, we're moving in a direction now that uh, right now, since I've acquired the chairmanship, that uh, is going to be with speed, deliberation, and alacrity. And we have uh, always had a mindset to do uh, that which is the best for the community and the citizens. And so, you know, think about it this way, Charles. In 2006, you couldn't uh, get a college education in your bedroom wearing your jammies. Well, now we have an online four-degree program, so we're competing with that. Right. So, really, the model that they were contemplating even back in 2006 is not, I think, a reasonable model in, in order to provide the best education at the, at the lowest cost possible to our people in Southside and Southwest Virginia. So, we've got to, re, we've got to refocus ourselves. And what we, you know, and, and I will agree, for the last few years, um, New College has been stagnant. Uh, we have asked in the General Assembly for action to be taken, uh, and no action has been taken. And that's why we felt it necessary, uh, and that's why I felt it necessary to become chairman and and not run for attorney general as I planned to do. I was going to announce that last week. In Henry County, somewhere between 8 and 11 percent of our graduates, um, of our youth, uh, have a baccalaureate degree. The state average is about 22 percent. So we're way below the state average, and we believe that there are many people here that, given the opportunity, would take the chance at a baccalaureate degree. Many people here are, are not able to leave home and go away to college. The expense of it is outrageous. So that was the original challenge 10 years ago, that we wanted to establish um, an existing 
a branch campus here of an existing university or a baccalaureate degree granting institution so people here might be able to work and go to school at the same time. That is still our dream. That challenge has never changed. Um, and we're hopeful that something 